change our hearts. The season of Lent is meant to give us time for honest inventory of our lives. Well, the lesson for all of us is we never know where God is going to lead us in our lives and what those experiences are going to lead to for each one of us. The woman at the well, this Samaritan woman who clearly had some things she struggled with in her life, Jesus knew everything about her. And she didn't stand before him in shame. She didn't run away. She stayed there and listened and engaged him. The reason being, he looked at her with full knowledge of everything about her and simply looked at her and loved her that this healing that Jesus offered was a manifestation of God's mercy. And that that mercy is so profound that there's literally nothing it can't heal. From the blindness of this man to washing away our sin. And in the gospel, Jesus talks about untying him and letting him go. And that's what all of our lives are about. We have to let go of those things we want to hold on to so tight because all things we experience in this life eventually die. But I think if we're honest, as we look in that rearview mirror, we find that after those experiences of death, there's also resurrection. So the lesson for all of us in these two figures of Scripture is that we need to remember, like Peter, that there's absolutely nothing that Christ's mercy and love can't keep. There's nothing that we do, there's no matter how far we fall, that if we look to that mercy and love, we don't receive it in abundance. Because that's why he went to the cross in the first place, to heal us.